Welcome guys to Star Trek Fleet Command. Starquip Server 191. Okay, this video is going to have a few things in it, but mainly I had people ask me about looking at G4 ships. So I'm going to go through each G4 ship. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, still not G4, still no. Okay. Well, everyone's seen the jelly, so I don't think I need to do that one. Let's go. Have a nice look at it first. Just always remember when you're looking at stats, when you're looking at through mine, warp range is plus 10. So this ship, straight out of the dock, would be 85, unless you've done the research. I'm not going to read the description, you can have a read. Okay, so that's how she comes out of the dock, with the research that I have done in G4 research. Okay. Next one. Again, we'll have a view of her. This one looks mean. Four guns on her. I'm wondering though, when you've got to upgrade it, do you have to upgrade each weapon individually? That would mean it would cost a lot, unless they're cheap to upgrade. Until I get one, I can't answer that question. Because most ships only have about, what, two or three weapons? This one's showing four weapons. And that's it. If it doesn't have the center section as being a torpedo, if I remember rightly. Quantum torpedoes or something like that. But until I can get all the blueprints, we can't know exactly what the weapons are going to be. Okay, so we'll scroll up. Obviously the officer um, on there, so because we haven't built it. So obviously once you put a crew on it, it would then be stronger again. So this is straight out of a dock with the research that I have done. Okay, so warp range on this is normally about 140. And that would be nice to have. You get down to the Borg space basically before you even upgraded it. Well, no, that was 168 or 5 or something, wasn't it? So you'd get close anyway. Okay, so next one. Oops, go back. That would be this one. I don't know about this one, it, just, it actually looks like it'd be a small ship. Are they two big weapons in the middle there? And then, but then it's got two there, so they must be nacelles. Then what's on the side here? They look like nacelles too. So I wonder if that's got four torpedoes launchers. Because they look more like torpedo launchers. Or some, maybe there are some sort of gun. Again, we don't know until someone's got blueprints and you see them upgrading it. Which, obviously, you need a shipyard at level 50. <laughs> so, that's a long way off for most people. Again, stats. Hope I'm going slow enough, but you should be able to pause the video if you actually want to read it. Again, warp 190, but 
you would start off at 180 but if anyone had got to this ship most likely they've done their 10 warp range anyway because you to get to level 50 you would have you probably even have plus 20 or something so warp range on this ship would be quite high by the time you got to it okay next one would be the miner I want to see what weapons this one's got. Doesn't really show any weapons, does it? Shows a lot of cargo space. It's got your nacelles there, you've got your sort of engines on the back there, but it doesn't actually show any weapons. Okay. I think we're Federation next. The upgraded Zelly. Like Federations, you can't really see what weapons it's got. They're not really standing out. So we don't know if it's going to have two, three, four, or what. to stats scroll back okay scroll up so warp range on this is normally 85 okay sorry about that but uh, whoops out go to this one new town this one i actually like the look of this one don't like that it's a smaller version of it but this one actually looks quite nice okay the um g3 version is what i'm trying to say again being a federation you can't really see what weapons it's got well, I guess that centre bit there, I reckon there'd be torpedo launchers, two of them are sitting there. But why would you need two reflect defectors? That would make it quite strong in defence, you would think. And so ship requirements say you need to have a shipyard of 46. scroll back up now yeah, okay so you can read the stats sorry about the crickets in the background but there's not much I can do about it and the fish tank probably you can hear that as well okay Enterprise A looks very nice. I like the colouring on it. Everyone knows what the Enterprise looks like, so I don't think I need to show much more. Shame you can't sort of zoom in on them. Okay, stats. Well, stats, with my research, it's starting off at nearly 6 million. By the time I put a crew on it, that's going to be well over 6 million. If I was to put just even the crew that I have now. And obviously, by the time you've got this, you would have done a heap more research, so it's going to be even higher than anyway. I'd say you'd be close to 8 million, but especially by the time you put a crew on it. I'll scroll back down. So obviously, top one's not showing you much because you've got no crew on it. I'd love to have this Enterprise. I know I didn't get the other one, 
but I'd probably love to hear this one. If I'm still playing the game by the time I get to it. <laughs> Okay, again, warp 190, but normally 180. What about the shipyard's 50, so... Now, it's mining. If I put some music in the background, I'll drown out those crickets. Now, what I've heard from listening to someone else do a YouTube, like, these are supposed to separate when in the attack. Okay, scroll down again. So, for a mining ship, we're starting at 420. No crew on it. Um, 120 mining rate from gas. I can't remember what a normal, what the G3 one does. That upgrades or anything. Oh, no, we still haven't scrolled up, have we? Down. Warp range normally 75, which gets you into most G4 without having to have your base up there. So you can get have the rest of your ships down in normal space and send this up for mine. So you could do your normal space stuff. Because normally, I when I want to go down and do my dailies, I have to leave all my miners and bring them down with me. If I had this, I could come down, send it back up. It could be still mining G4, and um, I could still do doing my dailies. Okay, so mining bonus is 1,300. Plus, you've got your mining rate of 120 if you're mining on top of that. So, cargo capacity. Cargo capacity is 80,000. 800k, 800,000. Now I've done some warp speed research too, so these may not be the same if you haven't done your warp speeds research. Okay, now we're doing Romulans. Now this one I've seen in movies. Well it looks like one I've seen in movies. Can't really see any weapons on it. Where's the Klingons? You can see their weapons. <laughs> I'm wondering if these blue things just under the wing here are torpedo launchers. Go to reading about it, scroll. So it's starting off at 3,000, 3 mil, no crew. What range is 85 normally? Okay, I've, I'm assuming you don't really need to read all that, if you want to, you can. Okay, next, Romulan ship. Yeah, does this look a bit familiar, but missing something in the middle? <laughs> so to me. Big pointy things at the front of it. So again, we don't know what sort of weapons they're going to have. Okay, stats. I 
Look at me, blueprints, you gotta get 350 of them. Where's what more branch on this? 150. Hostile looting. So it actually helps you steal. That's actually probably handy. Help you get blueprints for other ships. <laughs> nope. Uh, this one. Oh, that's what we want to do first. Now, there again, this one looks very familiar. You watch Next Generation, you've seen this ship. Oh, okay, that just got better. It wasn't obviously focused properly at first. And I like, I like the top up here. That's a nice ship. I'd love to have one of these. It just looks... Okay, again, we'll go through the specs. We'll just spin that. That looks nice like that. That'll work. I was going to do it on my phone because it'd be widescreen, but I was having troubles trying to download off it. So I thought, oh, I'll go back to my iPad. I can download off it. Okay. Again, warp range 190, but normally 180. Okay. Now it's just the minor. I just realised I've got a shard on this. A blueprint. Oh. I wonder when I got that. Oh, can I do it this way, Paul? I don't personally like this ship. I think it looks a bit... Because I sort of just stretched that other one. Chuck some cargo and pod things in there. Okay, stats. Probably its best end. <laughs> uh. Okay. So it was a what range on that one? Eighty four to so seventy five. Okay. So by the time he puts. Spock, I'm not Spock, Scotty on there, you at least get it to 90, still not going to get you, you'd have to at least upgrade them to get to the good mining spots. Okay, so that's basically it, apart from your jelly, which is the only G4 I haven't talked about, but I think everyone knows pretty much a lot about the jelly so you're going to read the specs and you can see straight out of the dock uh, space dock, 2.2, mostly like 2.3 million, no crew on it. You can tear it up to the first level quite easy. That I could probably even show you what. Oh. Must have took me longer to do. All that than I thought. I thought 
thought while I'm doing this I can have this mining once I've finished okay so we'll put on this is a tier 2 jelly with a crew on it so only tiered up ones did the um, yeah that was basically all I'd done um, so I'll go through the specs there to show you what tier 2 is Again, you remember when you look at these, I've done a lot of research in G4. Research. As you can see, at, the, at, at this level, you can get up to warp 75 with the warp extensions that I've got. So normally about 65. So at tier 2, it just gets you into deep space. So to get further into deep space, you would have to tear it up further. Which is why you go to my first one, and we have a look at it's tier five point two. I call it when it's got two things done, which means it's got the warp done on it, and I did the um, shield. Okay, so scrolling through the stats with it. You can get the um, strength higher with a different crew, but the crew I've got on is not really showing a good strength, but that's okay. It does what I need it to do at the moment. So what range at the moment is 95, which if you've seen my videos, you would know that that's what I can even get up to 103. Okay. Now, the other thing I was going to mention, I've noticed Scope have helped a little bit in their way. They've upgraded these. But in the time the economy is going at the moment, do we really need Scopely to encourage us to spend money by giving us more resources? They've upgraded to an extra if you buy this pack, 0.4, so in other words, an extra 400 million. Wouldn't it be better to bring the parts of the buildings cheaper? So to try and, they're just trying to encourage people to spend money. That's how I see it. It should have been made the buildings cheaper, the upgrades cheaper. I haven't gone through and to check to see if anything else is um, more or less. Um, I suppose I'd have to just go through one of my other videos and have a look. I noticed it a couple of days ago, but it wasn't something I was sort of trying to encourage people to spend money. I don't think it's the way I should promote my videos. Um, by telling you about it, it's almost what it is, isn't it? But yeah, you get. Now, where I was getting to uh, four billion by buying this pack, now I'm getting four point four billion. Um, and the same with come on, come on, this research pack. It was these two were eighty eight million each. Now they're a hundred million. Again, I haven't seen if you get any more of this sort of stuff. I'd have to go through my videos and scroll through and. See all that sort of stuff. I didn't take any screenshots. But yeah, this seems to me Scopely just trying to encourage people to spend. Instead of bringing the prices down on things. And this one here, why would you buy this one? Half the amount of money. You're not getting half the amount of stuff. You're barely getting anything. Okay, now, go back one, um, I don't plan on buying this pack, at all, we really could not see being worth it in one sense, why would anyone, um, I suppose if you don't have him, I've already got him maxed out, but, 
I've already got one, don't plan on having two. And I've already got two of these. Can't upgrade the second one. Because you need to buy those warp parts. So it was stupid building and upgrading it. And you can't scrap it either. Yeah, you want, you're not, I'd have to buy these again. I'm not buying them. I've got one fully tiered up. I'm not going to go and buy this. I'd probably have enough to tear it up. I've got enough of these to probably tear it up to max too. But why am I going to go and buy these warp pack things? It's... No. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, you've got plenty of that. Um, what I can tell, I don't think they've upgraded these kits though. They look the same. Again, I'd have to go from my video, but if I remember rightly, it was still um, 3,000 you got. I could show you the other packs, but they're all going to be the same. It's just, you're getting this piece instead of the other piece. So, as you scroll through each one, that's just going to waste everyone's time. Um, you've even got the minor one. And these don't look like last time I looked. Don't look like they've gone up in any way. So, they're encouraging you to build, but not encouraging you to upgrade your offices. <laughs> Um, and then you got all these small packs that you you, you wouldn't bother buying. Uh, I always get shield packs. I don't really look at these, so I don't know if they've gone up and down. Um, and then normally the smaller packs that you'd, I'd never buy. And you never buy that Latinum pack. Um, what else we got here? Oh, I've seen this one. And catch two more of these in. What are we going to get today? Oh, I've got two of them. So we got three of these. Resources. I never bought the monthly pack. Didn't see it worth it. So you what you get two million a day for thirty days. So that gives you sixty million and still. And when you worked it out, it wasn't, you'd no one would buy it. It's, I think it might have been worth it when you're in the lower levels, but in the higher levels, this pack is just definitely not worth it. And it never gives me the option to buy this pack. If I would buy it anyway, but... <laughs> um, what else we got? I don't need to see any of that. Mm. Oh, gonna move him again. I actually think I might just send him home for the night and yeah. I think I would have collected enough. How much did we get? We got I oh, go away. That should be enough. Fifty-two, but oh, I shouldn't be showing that. Um, 
think these offers are packed not not worth doing. Don't even think you'd get a million steel out of that. As you know by now, I only look at the steel. <laughs> All finished up. So I'm probably going to wait over a week before the next one starts. Going by the way it did last time. Yeah. I think we might call it a night. I'll have to edit this video up and put it online. Uh, I still got to go and kill some ships to do my dailies. Yeah. Gonna go and finish these bits off so I can get me Klingon faction up there. I don't think I've done much of my Klingon faction since we last video. Yes, I know I need to get my feds up, but I'd like to get my Klingons to the next level first. And then I'll worry about trying to get my feds up. Because I would like that would get me to the this ship, but it's not like I'm going to buy it anyway. Not when I'm getting close to having the Klingon ones. I mean Federation ones. Now we can do that. I'd like to get that if I an auger. If I want it, I'd definitely build it. And yeah, this... I know they've got the event going, but... All the points I get, I, I'm still stuck at 1 million. Like... I understand bringing the event back out, but why couldn't we do it that we were... Achieving something more than just doing the events? It's sort of pointless. You do this event and you get the rewards. Okay, we've got 13 million dilithium. Well, 13.5 million. And some G4 for coming first. What do we, what does the alliance get? <laughs> for me, that's, okay, I'll get some G4. So they do, I'm assuming the rest of my alliance won't get G4 um, and what am I going to do with these oh well, that might help me upgrade um, upgrade oh I thought I can't record him oh they're still coming few seconds away um yeah I don't know what else I can show you guys um I haven't this won't be much of a pop that's just from yeah um yeah, I don't know what else to show you guys. I think we'll call it for the night. I'll upload and do all that sort of stuff. You'll probably see this by tomorrow. He's nearly there. I might give it an extra 25 seconds and I'll show him what's going to cost to upgrade. We might repair him. For me to tear him up at the moment, I need 5,200. And what I was getting about four, so that'd be me one, four, eight. Oh, okay, that actually might help me upgrade him. But then I still need 100 of these. So I'm gonna have to refine a lot of those. 
I can tear him up. Okay. So all right, it might have been worth doing. For that reason. Okay. I'll definitely call it a night and I'll upload the video tonight. Okay.